You know what? I'm kind of sick and tired of not being an actual human being. A lot has happened during quarantine. I can't believe quarantine is still a thing. So for the first time in a long time, I want to do some old Ashley sh I feel like I used to get ready every day and like do a makeup look that would like match my outfit and I want to do that today. So here's my thing. I feel like I've got a lot of questions from you guys about what has been going on in my life and I need to answer them and I can't just like post a random YouTube video without like answering a hundred questions. So today I'm going to do a little get ready with me and answer some of your guys' questions but also kind of vlog the photos I'm going to be taking. I don't know. Like I'm just going to, it's like a little mini day in the life but also catching up with you guys. I feel like the most recently asked question has been, did you guys like move? And yes, we did move. This is my new room. It looks like shit. The bed frame came with the room. I know it looks a little, it looks gray kind of on camera, but like, I think the person that bought it thought it would be gray, but it's actually absolutely green. It's really hard to tell, but I swear to God, it's like olive and I hate it. Do you hate it? It's ugly. You hate it. I obviously got a new camera. I haven't really actually bought a camera myself until recently. So this is like my first camera with like a mic and everything. Oh my God, who am I? I've always used like my friend's cameras and stuff, but here we are. This is our new house. We did move into like the old clout house, like Faze Banks, Alyssa Violet, Rice Gum. Like I'm in Rice Gum's room, which is really weird to think. And I'll get into it in a little bit. Let me try to like give you like a wide view. So here's basically my room. I went from one triangle room to another triangle room. It's a very interesting layout. My favorite part of this house has to be the view. The view's crazy. Here's my bathroom. That's my room. Looks like a bathroom. We can do like a whole tour later, but like here's my closet. You know, it, it looks really great now, but that's because I put a lot of work into it the past like three weeks. Initially, like when I first got here, it pretty much all like the whole closet looked like this. Like it had one shelf and then one rack. Not to be like annoying, but I have a lot of clothes. Like my last house, I had two dressers and two closets. And then coming into here, it was like, you have like three places to hang up your stuff. And I was like, or no, like I have a lot of hoodies. <laughs> like I have a lot, a lot of hoodies. So basically I had to take out all of these shelves on every single one and then move these up to here and then add another one below it. Not everything fits, you know, like perfectly. Shit still hits the floor, but it's fine as long as it's in here. Cause there's no room really for like a dresser in my actual room. Now I have double, 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 double this, this, double, double that, that. Just me. I gotta go home. Also, sorry about my nails. But yeah, so basically why I wanted to film is I got this dress from Omighty. Oh like, a month ago and it finally came in it took so long to ship and i know like quarantine like everything's like takes a lot longer to ship but like it literally took so long to ship that it shipped to my old house so i had to drive all the way over there and get it whatever but i want to take a photo in it sorry let me sit down and get situated so i can start doing my makeup wow okay so i just like set my camera down and try to look at some of the palettes that i had that might have some like purpley colors and then i saw this little palette that ColourPop sent me a while ago and i was like oh my god this is gonna be perfect like this is definitely gonna have some purples in it wow i'm totally gonna use this palette and there's one purple shade so that's great also this palette has literally one purple it's kind of pretty though but then i remembered i just bought a jaclyn hill the volume 2 palette i know this palette was getting a lot of sh because it wasn't vegan I think because of the red shades but I just ate in and out two days ago so I'm not that mad about it but also this palette actually has some good purples they're a little bit dark though like looking at this palette I'm like why did I buy this again like I don't use dark ass colors but maybe I should start maybe I'll use one of these purples today I think I might but thank god Morphe they gave like all of the influencers that went to playlist live I want to say they gave everyone like a whole Morphe setup so shout out to Morphe and if you guys want any of this stuff I will try to link most of it down below but yeah they gave me this palette what's it called talking flirty 18f palette but look at this like nice like lilac -y purple <gasps> yeah we're gonna use that i also have like a huda huda beauty whatever huda i don't know she also has like a lilac -y color called lace and that looks kind of pretty but it also looks like nothing so we'll see what we can do with the tools given so recently i've seen people like on tiktok and like youtube use soap brows which is basically the same thing as this you're literally wetting a spoolie and then like rubbing rubbing the spoolie on the soap and then like brushing up your brows and they're supposed to like stay in place and it actually worked really good with soap so I don't know why I bought this Patrick Ta for brows basically $18 soap you know I thought it would be like mind-blowingly better than just using soap but um it's the same if not maybe even a little bit worse 
worse, but I don't hate this at all. I mean, like, I definitely love it, and I use it every single day. So, I mean, if you want to spend $18, use this. If not, use soap, and it'll work probably the same. But yeah, I feel like I've been doing a lot more of, like, natural brows the past couple of months because we're all stuck inside of our houses and no one's really gonna judge me, but I have to remember that, like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still a fucking influencer, and my job is to influence you guys to put soap in your brow. <laughs> no, but, like, you know, like, I still need to pretend like I'm not depressed. I'm just kidding. Well, I don't know. Also, you know how I got the little trick from Tana to use the Herb Decay Faint on our eyebrows? Well, I'm a big girl now, so I've moved on to actual brow powder, the Anastasia Medium Brown. I didn't know I chose medium brown, but apparently I did. It's just like this nice, like, taupey color, like half taupe, half taupey brown, and I just vibe with it a lot. <gasps> oh my gosh, if you know who used to live in this house, you've probably heard the song, you know, me and Rice in a house with like eight floors, right? Your brother's nuts, you're a squirrel for his acorns. It doesn't have eight floors, but it has four floors. Basically, we are working our asses off to, you know, pay for the space. So we're all trying to get on a routine, you know, wake up every morning at like 10 a.m. and then like work out and then work, like film, do TikToks, whatever. But this house has a gym. I've been working out almost every day, which is incredible. I've been either doing Pilates or like working on my butt again and like trying to eat healthy again and it's kind of been incredible my ass is very sore right now from yesterday's workout and then this morning i did pilates hence the apple watch on my wrist working out again is kind of everything if you don't have a home gym which i know most people don't but i know a lot of people have been like building and like setting up their own gyms and like their garages and stuff which is what i try to do um at our other house but when we moved in here and there was a gym i don't know just like working out is kind of the best thing ever i also noticed like a lot of people People have been going on walks and we've been trying to walk as well because we live close to the Hollywood sign so we've been doing that a lot and like taking our dogs to do that and it's been a super big vibe all right so I'm gonna start reading some of your guys's questions someone said why did you guys move houses you know let's just say there was a lot of reasons but the main one being our lease was up at our other house we had lived there for two years which is absolutely crazy I feel like I haven't even lived in LA for two years but I guess I've lived here for like three Three. But also our last house that you know looked so great and looked like so much fun And you know everyone always like stayed the night and wanted to stay there towards the end It actually got infested with flies first We thought you know, maybe it wasn't like a big big deal until one day I killed a hundred flies just in my room alone And you know, sorry if that's like bad to say like I killed flies But like there was a hundred flies in my room and I needed them out because I can't live with a hundred flies I was like well the only logical thing is that they're like hatching eggs or whatever larva <coughs> yeah um they must be hatching like larva in my house so we ended up finding some larva in a bouquet of flowers that Tana got for her birthday so yeah that was really good and fresh but also doesn't explain why they were in my room unless one of those flies hatched flew in my room and planted more larva or whatever in my room I don't know how flies work I don't want to know how they work don't tell me how they work we've probably killed thousands of flies just in that whole house couldn't get them out how's your day going you know like every day I was just killing flies lord of the flies over here did anyone else read that in elementary it was pretty good from what I remember which is nothing <laughs> I'm aware that this could look like a lot better and that I suck at makeup now but I think for like a photo and with like lashes on it could look okay. So I got a couple questions that are like, oh, how are you doing? How have you been? And honestly, I feel like I'm not like the only person that's kind of been like freaking out during quarantine. It's just like a very, very different way of living. And it's been a huge process trying to like adjust. I mean, how, how are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments what you guys have been doing during quarantine. And let me know some things that keep you guys sane because I could really use some tips. Two very boring minutes later. So yeah. How are you doing? I think I kind of already answered that. Everyone, I feel like in the world is doing kind of the same, which is we're all terrified of the world, but we're just dealing with it. I've been using a new foundation. I got these new, I think they're real, no, they're Eco Tools brushes. Should look like this. These are from Target. It comes in a set of these three, and I feel like they're absolutely amazing for a foundation, contour, and then highlight with like, you know, concealer, like on your nose and like in like little areas like right here. You need to get these Eco Tools. Amazing. Next question. If you could get any animal 
animal, any wild animal, what would it be? I would get a tiger so I could be Carol Baskin and feed my husband to the tiger. Raise your hand if you think Carol Baskin <laughs> killed her husband and whacked him. Just me. I'll say it. I think she whacked him. A couple people are asking if I quit YouTube and I didn't quit YouTube. I feel like I can never quit YouTube. I don't want to quit YouTube. I love YouTube. The world has been a crazy place and a lot of bad things have been happening and also a lot of good things have been happening like the Black Lives Matter movement. Like I don't know why that hasn't happened sooner um, but Black Lives Matter and um, I will put links in the description if you do want to help donate. But I feel like during quarantine I've just been educating myself with everything wrong in the world. You know at first it was the pandemic and learning all about that and how not to die. I don't think anyone could teach me anything about it because I taught myself and I learned everything that I had to do. I feel like that's how I spend my nights. It's just on my phone seeing horrible stuff and signing petitions and donating and whatever, but I've lost track. <laughs> but what was even the question? Oh yeah, did I quit YouTube? Yeah, no. I've just been, I think, focused on a lot of other things going on with the world rather than focusing on my career, which is really bad and I need to come back and like be an actual human again. So hi, thank you guys for sticking by me for so long. I hate being that YouTuber that like, like there's been certain YouTubers that I've followed that would only post every so often. And it was like so frustrating because they were my favorite YouTubers. So I can't even imagine being in your guys' place where I haven't posted for like a a month here and there like I am really really sorry and I will do better like I, I have to so someone said how's Mitsu and look at him he's so cute he's in my closet right now cuddling cuddling with my slippers he's so cute i don't know if i showed you guys but when he was a baby i didn't have any toys for him so i gave him my koala slippers that loving tan sent me shout out loving tan thank you guys for giving him his best friend um but yeah it's also kind of like his new you know buddy dare i say it now that he's getting his penis he wants to like hump things here and there but he tries to do it in private and it's actually really funny you see this like little tiny brush it's so perfect for right in between my eyebrows blending in like the concealer and they're just so soft oh my gosh you guys this new product that i have been using is the kkw beauty this is the like double-ended one the medium one and medium two abby rao shout out abby she put me onto this because like her contour always looks so good and like blended and she's like yeah i use the kkw sticks and i was like okay bet i'm gonna get them and now i use them every single day but before she put me onto these i was actually using the nyx version it's basically the same thing and also the wet and wild and i really ended up liking the nyx version in medium tan that one worked pretty much just as good i think i think the undertones of this one might be a little bit better like more cool and less orangey but yeah i pretty much just do this people are asking for a house tour and i would love to give you guys a house tour i actually really need to go buy new furniture this green bed is killing me dude like i just cannot this house is absolutely amazing though and we are all beyond blessed to live here it's really mind-blowing because when tana and i used to first come to la we would come here and hang out with the clout house like it was when it was the clout house we would hang out with like the clout people you know tana and i always like told each other like wow like that's the best house ever like it's so incredible i can't believe these people are living in a house like this like it's mind-blowing and they're youtubers like how does that make sense so it definitely motivated both of us to work harder and the fact that we're living here now it doesn't make any sense and you know we're probably not going to be living here for that long but just the fact that we're living here in general is absolutely mind-blowing it's very motivating like i want to make content because the house is beautiful this nice house has ants and rats so count your blessings mitzi you want to come say hi come here bubba this is my little guy oh thank you look at how sweet he is he was in between like the puppy phase and like the little man phase in my last video. He was like losing all of his fur and stuff, but now he has his like little man co, I think. And he's just the best little guy, huh? You are just the best. You listen to mom? Yeah. You like to poop in the office though. That's the only bad thing. He loves pooping in the office. <laughs> I don't know why. He's a little prissy. He doesn't want to outside, which I get it. I don't either. I hate porta bodies, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go do my lip liner. I'll be right back. Four moments later. All right, so hi, I'm back. Obviously, I did a lot more than just put some liner on. I did my hair and did my lips. Also put on my outfit, which by the way, is really cute. I got my little chanclas on from Coachella. R.I.P. Coachella. <sighs> don't even get me started, but also I want to give a huge shout out to a couple things. First being KKW Beauty skin perfecting body foundation i have very veiny skin and also i'm like anemic is 
or I just don't eat enough meat, therefore anemic, you know? Meaning I bruise a lot. Putting that on my chest area made it look like so even and nice and smooth. I'm like, shout out to Kim for creating that. So during quarantine, I have been using clip and extensions versus like tape and extensions like I normally do. So I can work on like healing my hair because at one point during quarantine, I went a little crazy and one night just had to bleach half of my head and a lot of my hair ended up falling out. So I also want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor being a function of beauty. If you guys have watched my videos before, then you might have noticed that I have been using function of beauty for a while. Like I hate when people are like, I love this product and it's like completely full. Like mine's pretty full, but I've gone through a whole bottle of this before. I was talking about their purple shampoo, which I really, really like. But if you haven't seen my videos before, basically you just go online and fill out like a two minute quiz about your hair goals, hair type, and then obviously like what scent you want and color. If you're like a blonde, then they can do purple shampoo, like I said. And and you also get to put your name on it, but I always put function of knockers on mine because it's just my brand. But this time I got not only their shampoo and conditioner because I loved it so much, but I wanted to try their hair mask. And then I was like, you know what? I'm already getting almost everything on the menu. So I might as well try their body wash as well, which I really like. And this time I just decided to get everything like dye free. I just love how easy it is because there's no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins, and it's 100% cruelty free and vegan. So I just feel like it's a lot easier to just get my stuff delivered. Like I literally get my razors delivered. I get my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, everything delivered to me because you just fill out what you want. You don't have to worry about any of those bad chemicals or anything inside of the products and it gets delivered to your door. So it couldn't be really much easier. Obviously I love like the shampoo and conditioner, but when you use like either the leave-in conditioner or the hair mask after everything, my hair just feels so smooth. Like, you know when your hair just like slips out of your hands sometimes? Cause it's like you use something really good. Like that's what this does. The things that I definitely can't live without though are the hair care in general. Like if you trust me on one thing, get their hair care, get the leave-in and get the mask, okay? So if you guys do want to check out Function of Beauty, as always, I will leave a link in the description for you guys and you guys can get 20% off your first purchase. Okay, so let's go take photos and see what everyone is up to, shall we? Let's go. Like, are you kidding the lighting in this house? Oh my gosh, there's copyright music playing. Let's go find Mario. Mini house tour, say hi, Ian. Hola. Knock, knock. Hey, pretty girl. Ooh, ready? I'm ready. Are you not taking pics? Oh, hey. Hey. Now that the camera's on, I'm here. Um, I will take pics. I just am ugly, so. Uh, we can fix that. Tune, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at your desk. Oh my gosh. She's becoming a little setup. You guys, I gave Mario my desk for my old room. She did some charity work for me. I'm Are you very gonna... grateful. <laughs> Are you going to do some gaming? Gaming? Probably not, but I'm I'll set it up for it. Okay. Yes. This like... is a great mirror. Oh, yeah, it is. Except it's like so backwards. I know, but still. Wow. So we're thinking like this, this balcony. <gasps> Is it working? <laughs> yeah. Is this think... thing on? Oh, oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, hi. Montage. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Feel I'm in the mood for a change up. Hey neighbor. Hi neighbor, huh? say hi. <laughs> I love our neighbors. Shout out Tyler Yahweh on Instagram. He's an Instagram model too. Straight to the stage, they love me. I understand they hungry, but please don't hate. That's ugly. I've been sliding, shaking, moving. I've been popping in my city. Shout it, say she love the way we do it. Do it with me. I be too turned up to ever give a. F yeah, yeah. I ain't come to argue, let a. Talking pennies, I need bigger bucks. About to catch a flight, I need to switch it up. We tried our best. Do you want to try one sitting? I do my dance on it. Hey, Take no disrespect, might put my hands on it. Hey, Hit this chicken, now she want to marry me. Okay. But she gonna need some closure and some therapy. No way. Came back to the city with my bank account on F. Ooh. Giving rappers, I know they happy that I left. Hot. Hit the south in winter, I just put down my depression. Yep. Done and done. Work. Check. Okay, you know, I just talked about how I like to put my name on things. It's like really cool, or at least my brand, which I don't know if I've mentioned in a video yet, but my Instagram, Ashley's Knockers, has been deleted. So if anyone knows how to fix that, honestly, email me how to fix that because I would, I'll do anything. But also, karma underscore New York on Instagram, I'll put their link in the description, just sent me one of their hoodies with my 
name on the hood. Knockers, are you kidding? I, I'm dead. I can't wait to take a photo in this. Oh my freaking God. And it's like so cute. Like the little pocket part has these little like studs on it. Oh, oh it makes me want to go back to the emo phase so bad. Emo phase, Ashley. It was, it was a good, it was a good time. That reminds me. Someone asked me like what brands I've been wearing recently. And um, I mean, it's going to be, this is going to be one of them for sure. But also bleached and tie dye, babe. Like this is literally called the Ashley set, this crew neck and the matching joggers. And sorry, I means was like eating something. So I was like looking at him funny. Little guy. So sweet, such a sweetie. But um, this is literally called the Ashley set. I will link their stuff in the description below as well. They are the sweetest girls ever and their stuff is so cute. And tie dye is so in right now. So I'm wearing bleached and tie dye every day. I just bought a few things from Almighty, but it's a little expensive and it takes forever to ship. So there's that. Princess Polly, cause I've been trying to dress like a little girl. Princess Polly recently. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like my eye look goes so well with my flowers from Dose of Roses. Dose of Roses on Instagram. Someone said, are you still happy with your decision to start an OnlyFans? And absolutely. The fact that my Ashley's Knockers Instagram got deleted and I didn't even post anything raunchy at all. It was literally like a cleavage pic. Imagine me posting a photo like this, but then just reposting it like up close so you can see my boobs more, but like you're not, still not seeing anything. So yeah, I love OnlyFans. Like I always wanted to be like a playboy. I know that sounds really weird, but like as a little girl, I was always like, whoa, like I want to be like a playboy. Like it's so like, they're just like so pretty people's bodies are beautiful and i think it's like a beautiful thing to like look at i don't know i don't know i love it by the way um i don't think i've talked about it on my channel but i have an only fans now and if you didn't know now you know it's not only like nude pics well i mean maybe it is so far but i also go live there i feel like i don't really go live on any platform at all other than only fans and um it's free to subscribe you can just watch my lives there i'm also gonna be posting just like more like exclusive content like workout tips i don't know just like a lot of like bonus extra stuff that like I don't want to post on YouTube like maybe my vlog wasn't long enough so I can't like post it to YouTube so then I'll just like do like mini vlogs on my OnlyFans so if you want to check out the OnlyFans link in the description probably towards the top below I'm getting a lot of um, people asking like when is Michael going to propose and I'm like wondering the same thing too yeah, no, but seriously, um, should we go ask him? Why don't we go ask him? He like lives down the street. Should we go? Let's go ask Michael. Come on. The fans want to know. Want to know what? When, when's it happening? When's what happening? You know. Um, my album? It's probably going to come <laughs> No, no, no. Babe. Come on. come on. The fans want to know. Oh, wait, that's your address. Never mind. Flashback. Wow, and now we have Driving with Ashley and Mitsu. A new series, right? Give me chicken or shut up, bitch. And we're both wearing purple? I love this. Mitsu is my everything, so I got him a seatbelt because driving with a dog can be very dangerous, especially one that has to look out the window or else he's gonna die. So I got him this car seat that straps him in, pretty much as secure as you can strap a dog in. It was like not cheap, but I wanted to be sure that he would be safe and he can still look out the window and he doesn't have to be on my lap, which could be very dangerous. Mitsu, what are you thinking about, dude? Is it no big deal? It's so obnoxious. Mitsu, you wanna show him you can look out the window and you're still strapped in? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But look, look at him. It keeps him strapped in with his little harness and he still has a little comfy cushion to sit on. Hi, Mitsu. That's kind of the coolest thing ever. Happy guy. Okay, well, I'm gonna go listen to music, so yeah. Hi, future editing Ashley here. Um, before anyone comes for me in the comments about Mitsu being in the front seat, yes, I'm aware that it can be dangerous, but also my boyfriend lives literally right down the hill, three minutes away. So he literally lives in the same neighborhood and my airbags don't turn on when Mitsu's in the front seat because he doesn't weigh enough to turn on my airbags. But normally I have him riding in the back with someone else, so thanks. End of flashback. Hey, look, try it on. What'd you give me? I got you a bunch of clothes. Oh, well, show me, you sweet guy. That's why I got you this one. So he just surprised me with a whole bunch of t-shirts, which I do need mm -hmm. because I've been wearing a lot of like jeans with like graphic tees. This one's hella cute. Arizona iced tea in the shape of Adidas. Cute. This one's so cute. Sailor Moon vibes. And then this one, we both matching. So cute. Oh my God, that one's so cute. 
That's yeah, me. Big, big graphic. That's literally me. Another Sailor Moon one. Oh my god, babe. Wow. And I like this one because it has like this. It's like a mixture. Wow. It has little Windows logos and stuff. So it's cool. Mm. Anime girl. That's actually me. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Now I have to try them on. I love your trophies. You like my back. one? Like mine? Yeah, this yours one? is hella cute. I should have got two of these. This one's Misaka. I love Misaka. I love Misaka. You love Misaka. Is that not what it is? Uh, I thought you were trying to make a joke like Misaka. Oh, I love Misaki yo kaka. Okay. I gotta go. You guys, Michael's brother Kyle got a dog. And of course, we had to make them look like they're brothers, even though they're like half brothers, kind of. He's a Aussie poodle. Aussie doodle. Mitsu has a brother. I mean, he's had a brother for like three months, four months, four months, something like that. Yeah. They just fight all day. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> he hates me. <laughs> whoa, 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 okay, no, no, Jeez. none of that. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. You guys are crazy. Well, I tried. Michael literally just looked at me and said this. Babe, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. What? Your eye makeup. Yeah? It looks good. <laughs> and it matches. He literally just said like, wait, that would be so funny if like, every time he like compliments me or like goes to compliment me, he sounds worried. <laughs> so he's like, oh my God, babe, your eye makeup. Like your, your under eye looks so good. <laughs> oh, you scare me. For what? You did that for what? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Thanks. All right, babe. What are we doing now? We're getting sushi. We're getting sushi. We got sushi. front row parking. It's literally right there. We've never been here. We usually go to the version of this that's in Little Tokyo. This is Sushi Enya. It's in Beverly Hills. We're going to see if it's good. It looks good. Looks like it's the same place. Like same chain thing. Whatever. I hope so. Let's go see.